Diane, we can work the money issues out. No, I'm taking you to child support. I don't want to hear later if you can't pay or you have something to do or you tell me you can't make the payment. Wait, wait, wait. We've been married for 16 years. I've always provided for my family. Listen, you're the one who doesn't want to be married anymore, and you still haven't told me why. We were on vacation. You kept telling me this was the best vacation we've ever had. Then two weeks later, you won't be gone. Davey, it's been almost a year. Get over it. That was then. I'm talking about today. Okay, and then today, I'm going online to the state child support services website. I'm just giving you a heads up. You need to be glad that I'm doing that. Since I've been gone, I have maintained the same financial responsibilities I did when I was here. And you want to treat me like this? You told me to leave the house I've been paying the mortgage on for 14 years, and if you haven't noticed, I don't live here anymore. You don't live here, but you're going to continue to pay. And child support will just make sure you don't get split. Why in the world would you want to put me in the system? We can work this out. Mommy, is that daddy you're speaking to? Oh, no, no, Monica. This is my job. Go downstairs and wash the dishes for me, okay? I'll be down in a minute. Hold on. Let me speak to Monica. She went downstairs to wash the dishes. Diane, why are you telling the girls to hang up on me when I call them every day at 7 a.m. to have prayer? I want to pray with my daughters in the morning so that they can be covered. Why would you tell them to hang up on me? It just doesn't make any sense. They go to Bible study every Wednesday. They don't need your extra, extra. I'm doing the same thing I did when I lived home. You know I went in the girls' room every morning to have prayer with them. You don't live here, and you don't run anything around here, so keep your little prayer, prayer, extra to yourself. Bang. Bang. Nah, babe, I'm good. What about you, Caleb? Do you want a little snack while we wait for Stevie? Um, I'm really hungry. I'm going to wait for Stevie. But Rita, if you have something cold to drink, now I'll take that now. Okay. Something cold is on the way. Mmm. Let me text Stevie and see if he's okay. I know he told me he was going to call Diane. I just hope he didn't go over there. Yeah, me too, man. What is her problem? Damn! She acts like she hates him or something. Yeah, I don't know. Rita tried to talk some sense into her, but I just don't understand. When they come back from their romantic getaway, that she wanted, and Stevie couldn't afford, but he paid for the trip, trying to make her happy, and what did he get in return? Was being kicked out of his own home. That's wicked. But wait, let me text him. No, no, wait, 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 don't, don't, don't send a text. Stevie just pulled up. Stevie, man, the door's open, come on in. Yeah, hey, brothers, sorry I'm late. Oh, I knew something must have happened because you always on time. It must have been that gal of yours. Mm -hmm. Yep, right. Got it. Diane. Hey, Stevie. Uh, listen, I know you guys are going out for dinner, but uh, can I get you something? <sighs> My family back? Uh, you know, you know, if I had the power for the in for the influence to do that, I would. How's it going? Not good. Not good at all. I called Diane to see if I could spend the weekend with my children, and she completely ignored my request and said she's going out to child support. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You give her money every week, and you're paying all the bills. Man, these damn money-grubbing women don't care nothing about their kids. I know Jean told me I'm paying the bills because I'm supposed to. <laughs> I told her I do it because I'm financially capable and because I love my children. 
Mm, Caleb, I spoke to Diane and Jean last night. Are you getting busy? Mm, not yet. I'm working on it. Oh, look, let me go. I'll talk to both of you later. Enjoy your night out, guys. All right, come on, let's go. Hey, uh, listen, uh, I'm a little um, short on money tonight. Hey, I told you, don't worry about it. I have it. We going to keep doing our brother's Friday night sessions no matter what we go through. I've got the bill tonight and for the rest of the year. Let's go. Bummer, Reed. I don't know what your son told you. He told me what you already know he told me. I know it's been almost a year, but why did you ask my Stevie to leave again? I mean, no warning, no agreement. He wanted to go for counseling, but you didn't. So can you tell me exactly what happened in your marriage? Everyone was surprised. I know I was. Uh, no disrespect, but Mom Reed, um, I think that needs to be kept between Stevie and myself. You know, I just came over here to tell you that I'm seeking child support from him, and I'm filing today. Child support? Mm -hmm. He still pays all the bills. It's just he's living there, and he gives you money for the girl. That is child support. Well, I think he can do more. More? Listen, I, I don't want to get into it with you, but you never know. Uh, he, he can meet a woman and start taking care of her and her family. And guess what? Forget that he has a family. Uh-uh. Well, to me, the only one who seems like they forgot they have a family is you, Diane. Let me ask you, Diane, when did things get unbearable that you decided you didn't want to be married? I, I never said things were unbearable, Mama B. I just, I, I just don't want the, you know, the c commitment of marriage. I feel like I was suffocate. Okay, I want to be free without having to answer to Stevie about my every move. Your every move, unless you've been lying to me for years. You told me. You love the fact that my son lets you have all the freedom you desire. You want to have to give me a few examples of what you're talking about. Uh, well, okay. Well, it was, um, you remember, uh, it was, uh, you know what? I can't think of anything right now. Uh-huh. Okay. You kicked your husband out of the house almost a year ago. And you can't think of anything right now? Oh, <laughs> oh, I understand. I understand exactly what's going on. Remember, Diane, huh, I've lived more life than you could ever imagine. When you want to have a real conversation, come back and we can talk. But just so you know, I see you. I just want you to hear it from me and not Stevie about the child support situation. I don't want him bad mouthing me. It's been almost a year, girl, and he hasn't said one negative word to me about you. Listen, listen, I've got to go get Carly and Monica from the hairdresser, and I want to lay. You know, I love you, Mama Lorraine, but please don't be mad at me. I'm not mad. Uh, I'm not mad at you, but I need you to know. I see you. <laughs> oh, uh, I want to know, can I take the girls out to dinner and a movie next week? Of course you can. You're their grandmother and a wonderful mother-in-law. Just call them and set it up. Okay. Okay, great. Oh, another thing, Diane. Do you know where Stevie is living now? No. That's none of my business. Huh? Just remember this, I see you. Hey, I was here early waiting for you guys. I thought we said last night we were moving the time up an hour. 
Yeah, sorry, Cameron. It's my fault. Uh, I was talking to Diane, and, well, let's say time slipped by. How's that working out for you, man? Man, it's not. She's going after child support. Child support? As much as you do for her and your daughters? Actually, you may be doing too much. Diane's still working, right? Yes, yeah, she is. As a matter of fact, she's doing celebrities' hair on the regular. The girls told me that. When was the last time you had the girls? <sighs> Man, two months ago. Every time I want to get them, Diane comes up with an excuse. It's as if she's trying to keep them away from me. God, when I wake up in the morning and I don't hear my children moving around, I don't hear their conversation, and most of all, I don't hear the girls say, Good morning, Dad. Man. The absence cuts my heart like a knife. Now all I hear is silence. Oh, uh, oh, oh, there goes Lamar. Hey, man, you finally showed up, huh? Cameron's been here for an hour waiting for you. Uh, hey, Lamar, do you still have access to a good lawyer? Man, what kind of lawyer? Divorce. Divorce, family, something along those lines? Uh, yeah, my man. Attorney Gray is a good guy. I have his number. I'll text it to you. <sighs> Thanks, man. I think I'm going to have to step things up. I thought that Annie and I could work amicably, but she's making it almost impossible. I just don't understand. What did I do to deserve this? Hey, Ma, what's going on? Diane just left here. She's going to let me take the girls to dinner and a movie. I just wanted you to know. Okay. I'll call you later. Love you, son. More than a thousand tongues could ever say. I love you, too, also. More than 2,000 tons could ever say. Huh, ain't this something? Once again, I ain't let my mother see the girls, but she keeps making excuses when I want to see them. That don't make no damn sense. How many times have you seen them since the separation? Uh, about 10 times in 11 and a half months. That's crazy. See, what I don't want to do is put my girls in the middle. I don't want I don't want them sneaking around trying to talk to me. I'm their father, not a stranger on the street. Diane is worse than Rita. I feel for you, Stevie. Man, just call them anyway. I, mean, I would, but Diane changed their cell phone numbers. I emailed them yesterday to tell them I love them. No response. I don't know what's going on. Man, look, Pastor's going to have a revival this week, and I think we all should go. We need to be in church in prayer to fight this spirit, man. You're right, but I can't go. I have to work. Wait, another thing. Uh, my mother just told me that Diane once again is letting my mother take the girls out for the day. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Let me get this right. Now, these are your daughters. You are your, their father, and you have to fight to see them and then... Let me say this the right way. Diane is acting as if you don't have any rights, man. Man, I am baffled the way she's treating me. I never cheated. I never disrespected her. I don't drink, drug, party, and all this other kind of stuff. I try to live a godly life. Clean living, man. That's what I believe in. Clean, respectful living. This is why you need an attorney. Trust me. He will straighten all this crap out. My lawyer is worth his weight in gold. Stevie, I, uh, I hate to ask you this, but do you think Diane is or has been having an affair? Oh, dang, man. I forgot to tell y'all. I just told my chef to give you some extra food. My treat. Thanks, man, but I've got it. Look, man... My treat. I'm blessed. Business is doing incredibly well. 
Look, I gotta go. We'll catch up later, all right? Cameron, you asked me if I think Diane is or was having an affair? No, not at all. I don't know what changed. But I'm sure she honored her vow to me as I did to her. I just don't know where I went wrong. Maybe it's not about you doing wrong as much as it is something that isn't right in her personal life. What do you mean by that? Look, we can't always want to take credit for the end of our marriages. Sometimes our wives or our husbands did nothing. The person changes, not the marriage, the person. So, so true. But one second, y'all. Jean. Hey, Jean. I need you to come over by the house. I just brought Olivia home from the hospital. What? I'm Man, on my way. what's going on? Look, 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 Olivia just got back from the hospital. Look, I, I'll talk hey, to y'all later. Go we'll lift your family up in prayer. Stevie. Man, you never answered the question. Where are you living? Look, look, look. I'll have you guys over in a few. But I'm good. I'm good. Huh? Are you sure? Mm. God, Olivia Fever is going down. My goodness, it's been a long night. A long night that I'm just finding out about. Why didn't you tell me immediately to let me know my daughter was ill? Look, I didn't call you here for you to bring chaos into my house. I didn't have to call you at all. What the hell happened to you, Jean? When did you become this insensitive woman with a heart of ice? A heart of ice? I've been holding this family together for years while you paid more attention to your real estate company than you did your family. I have been everything to our children. The only thing you did at night was pop your head in their rooms when you came in. I don't know who the life you were calling, but it sure as hell ain't my damn life. Pop my head in my kids' room. This big house you living in, you begged me to build it. I only built this house because I wanted to make you happy. If I was single, I would live in a townhouse. Well, good. I'm glad I kicked your ass out and helped to make your dream come true. Enjoy. Ooh, Jean, you know what, Jean? You become one miserable woman. Who the hell are you, Jean? I'm the same woman you married, but I'm better now since we're getting a divorce. Now I can be the woman I always wanted to be. By the way, I will ask my lawyer to seek more financial assistance. I want to go to college, and you need to foot that bill, too. Oh, 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 oh. now you want to go to college. I've been asking you to go back to college since Jason was born, and that was 12 years ago. <laughs> but you didn't want to. I've asked friends to come and help at the office, but you didn't want to do that. I've had my friend look for jobs for you, but you didn't want that. <laughs> I guess I for you forgot that you told me once Jason was born, you was going to return to work. Then Jason turned one years old, <laughs> and you pushed that date back to. Now Jason is 12, and Olivia is 4. And now you want to go back to school. <laughs> look, whatever. You held me back, Caleb. Oh, oh, oh so that's the are you telling all your friends who don't know the truth? And our church family too, huh? I've been holding you back. <sighs> nah, girl. I've wanted to push your life forward. I have always wanted to make the most out of your life in whatever way you choose. Now, don't blame me for your limited life. Blame yourself. I have to get an education because I'm a single mother now. Oh, here we go with that shit again. A single mother. I guess I'm a single dad, too. You know, look, regardless of what our marital status is going to be, you choose the status. I'm going to take care of my children, and I'm not talking about giving them money. See, I'm going to give them emotional support. 
I'm going to show up at their school, their activities, and everything else. So don't pull that thing of motherhood crap on me. You tell the lawyer what you need, and I will make sure you can have the career you want for my children's sake. Good. At least we can agree on that. Oh, by the way, I want half the business. My lawyer told me, <laughs> ain't this. <laughs> you want half of my business. The business that you didn't even want me to go into. The business you always complain that I spent too much time at. The business you never came by. Not even bring me a sandwich. The business you did not help build. <laughs> oh, that business? But most importantly, the business that is having its house. Your Mercedes in the driveway, Jason's private school, and your divorce lawyer. You mean that's the business you want half of? I may not have helped you build the business, but the business took you away from me. No, 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 girl. You got that all wrong. You took yourself out of this marriage. Remember... You asked me to leave. Hey, ma. Ma. Hi, son. Ma. You look like you just rolled out of bed. As a matter of fact, most of the time when you come over here in the morning, you look like you rolled out of bed. You want a little something to eat? Mm, that sounds great. Uh, have you spoken to Diane yet? Of course. How's it going with you paying the child support, huh? Do you need any help? Let me give you $30,000, Stevie. Oh, no, I am not having my mother take care of my responsibilities. No way, Ma. I got it. How do you have it when most of your money is going towards child support and the house bill? I can't believe the judge has you covering everything. How are you supposed to live? I didn't know you don't care about that. Listen, Monica and Carly are giving Diane a fit. Huh? Wait, wait, what's going on? You know, I still don't have the girl's this number. Well, you're going to have them today because I told Diane I was sick of this mess. The girls need their father and you need them. I told her. I was going to give you their number, and I'm going to give the girls your number. Now, do you have a home phone number you want me to give the girls? Uh, no, no, that sounds good. Uh, see, this way they can reach me at work or wherever I am. Where are you is what I want to know. Baby, are you living in your car? Don't you lie to me. <sighs> yes. Yeah, I am. Okay. You have to let me help you. Did you tell your friends and not tell me this was going on? <sighs> no one knows, bro, but you, no one. Uh, enough is enough, okay? Our rental property on Chancellor Avenue, you're going to move into it. Ma, I don't want your help. I can handle it. Huh. A fool will pretend a car is a home. Only a fool. And I didn't raise a fool. Now it's available, and you're moving into the property. It's your inheritance anyway. Take advantage of it. The girls just asked me, when are they going to be able to spend the night with you? I'm going to call Nolan and have them go over to the house to help you get situated. Ma, I love you, but I am a grown man. I can figure it out. Wait. <laughs> You're letting ignorant pride get in the way? You see this house you're sitting in? <laughs> yes. This is the house I grew up with you and Dad. Uh-huh. Your father and I almost lost the house. When you were a baby, your father was laid off. I was a housewife, and I didn't have a dime to contribute, much less pay the mortgage. But you know, Reverend Banks, at that time, who passed the great 
great a harvest. And our church family knew what was going on. At first, your father was embarrassed. Your dad didn't want anyone knowing that we were struggling. I remember. I remember Reverend Banks saying to your father, you can be embarrassed and homeless or be blessed with a roof over your head. You too. Brother Reed, you prayed and God has answered your prayer. If you didn't want God to answer your prayer, then why did you pray? Son, the offering the church blessed us with enabled us to pay the mortgage up and pay three additional months. Now, my question to you is, do you want a blessing or do you want to continue to call your SUV your home? Huh? You tell me. What are you going to tell your daughters when they start spending the night? Oh, your room is in the back seat. <laughs> all right all right you got a point <laughs> thank you ma don't thank me thank god <laughs> uh, yeah i guess it will be kind of hard to fix breakfast on the engine <laughs> Rita. You just don't understand. Okay, Stevie is two weeks behind in child support payments. Okay. And you called to have a warrant put on him? And they picked him up last night? What's wrong with you, Diane? These children are his responsibility. Oh, and they're yours, too. All the years you were together and that man put his family first? Why are you so angry? What did he do to you? Oh my, I, I asked you this past year. Why are you divorcing him? And you never told me why. Okay, okay. All right, now Stevie, he's a good man, all right? I just don't want to be married anymore, that's it. I want to, you know, I want to spread my wings. I want to live. If I want to stay all, you know, stay out all night, then I should be able to do that. Stevie is a good man, yeah, but, you know, he's a wonderful guy, but I'm not into Mr. Nice Guy anymore. <laughs> I changed. And you know, what I want in a man has changed. Oh, he's a good guy that you just put a hit on. A hit? Uh, he murdered? He's two weeks behind. He's in jail with murderers, drug dealers, and who knows who the hell else? You told me this morning he told you he would pay you next Wednesday. You know, he's under a lot of financial stress. You couldn't wait for five days to get the back payment? Look, if he has money, to move into his mother's rental, buy new furniture, then guess what? He can pay me my money, all right? He's been living in his mother's rental for five months now. The girls keep telling me how nice it is. Ooh, so, so he has money, all right? And he's not gonna shortchange this family. He's gonna give me my money. Oh, your money. The money is for your children. But I forgot the kids don't get any of that. You spend that money on yourself because you keep telling the girls to ask their father when they need shoes, clothes, and whatever. Meanwhile, you're using the money to do whatever the hell you want to do. Listen, I'm the babysitter now, all right? Remember, Stevie left. He left his responsibilities behind. Are you losing what little mind? You have left? He didn't leave you. You kicked him out without any explanation. He begged you to go to counseling, but you didn't want to. You better pray nothing happens to that man. His mama will give him the money, all right? But listen, then I can get my money. Oh, my. I am done with you. You know, let me tell you what. That so-called new furniture, 
he has was mine and Nolan's furniture that's been in storage. We gave it to him because he didn't have money to even buy sheep. So he's not living the good life. He's living the broke life. Oh, so you mean, you mean he didn't buy that furniture? Mm, don't act stupid. You know how much your husband makes, and you know how much he has left out of his check. Remember, you handled your family finances for years. Frida, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to call you back. Are, are you ready for dinner, baby? No, but I am ready to live with my father, and I'm going to ask the judge. Wait, 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 what are you talking about, Monica? I overheard everything. Everything, Ma. You told me and Carly that Dad wasn't helping you with the bills or giving you any money for us. You've been keeping the money for yourself? No, 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 that's not what happened. I'm t no, 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 that's not what happened. I'm t I'm, no, you, let's, let's... you, uh, you told the Dad didn't give you money for us. You led us to believe he didn't care anything about us. You told us that was using his money to buy furniture and take care of himself. But I heard Aunt Rita. Listen, Monica, this is grown folk matters, all right? No. Carly and I are the matter. My father is in jail because of you had him arrested? What kind of person are you? Did my father kill somebody? Answer me, Ma. Did he? Well, well, uh, well, well no. He, 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 he didn't kill anyone. <laughs> Did he do something illegal? Is my father a criminal? Is he? Well, well, well no. He, he's not. He's not a criminal. <sighs> My father is in jail with criminals, but you said he's not a criminal. Look, 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 I I'm going, I'm going to do what I can to get him out, all right, Monica? And I'm going to do what I can to move out of here and never return. Me and Carly are going over to grandma. Oh, oh wait. Oh. Hello? Hi, I need you. Please, please, can I come over? Okay, okay, I'll be I'll be there in ten in ten minutes. Ooh, I hope you have some wings and fried fish so we can watch the game tonight with some grub. <laughs> <laughs> we should have called Lamar to let him know we were coming. He would have had mm -hmm. everything ready. But we can either call in and sit out here or go in and wait. No, 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 no. L let me call the order in. Rita's making most of the food. We just need to order the wings and fish. Ho, oh. oh. ho, wait a minute. I know that's not Diane. Lamar is kissing Diane? Let me get the hell up out of this car. Y'all so lip lock, you can't hear us walking in here. Oh, 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 oh my man. Uh... Man, you're sleeping with your cousin's wife. You've been skinning and grinning in Stevie's face, and you've been sleeping with his wife? I can explain. Listen, listen, Stevie is a wonderful man. They're different. But... I, what about somebody to... different and not a family member, Diane? Stevie still loves you. He hasn't dated. He's not talking to another woman. We, we, we were just at church Sunday, and once again, he was at the altar asking the Lord to bring his family back together. Uh, I can't even look at you. You're going to destroy him. <laughs> Wait, 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 man, please, please, oh my god, oh, don't tell Aunt Marie, man, please. What? Don't tell Ma Marie? <laughs> you I'm not gonna be your little secret, Lamar. Everyone is going to have to accept what we have, all right? Oh, 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 hold up, wait, wait a minute. 
than we have. Mm-hmm. I didn't tell you to be your <laughs> you see, There it is. You see, Diane, Lamar wanted to lay and play. He didn't want to stay. You destroyed your family for this? You just got played. Lamar! You, you can't do this to me! Oh. Hello? 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 Yes, hello? May I speak with Mrs. Diane Reed? Yes, this is she. Uh, who may I, may I say is asking? This is Bergen County Jail, where your husband was. Oh, okay, okay, yes, yes, you let him out, right? Someone paid that um, out? No, no, we released his body. Ma'am, there was an altercation. Um, what, 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 um, what altercation? What do you talk, what? Ma'am, we need you to go to the morgue to identify... Morgue? Wait, 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 wait. What? Going on. Wait, hold on, hold on. Why would I need to go to the morgue? You you said that you just released him, correct? Yes, ma'am. To the morgue. You see, there was a fight in his cell. A fight? What? Oh, who, who, what? Yes, yes. Ma'am, we're still investigating. But one of the men in the cell with your husband... Well, he beat your husband pretty bad. And, oh my God, uh, Diane! He what didn't the hell did you do? Oh my God, this can't be happening! Oh my God! Mrs. Reed now. That's his mother, correct? No. Don't call. No. Don't call her. I will call. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Grandma. <laughs> Grandma. Yeah, baby. You kissed Granddad when you were 22 for the first time. <laughs> Yes, indeed. I sure did, and I didn't like it either. Plus, your grandfather had just eaten grits, and grits were all over his teeth. I didn't kiss him again for a whole one year. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Wait a minute. Uh, Hold on a second. Wait. Oh, that's your mother. Look, I know you're mad. I know you're mad, but that's still your mother. And you have to show respect. Okay, girl? Yes, Grandma. All right. All right, Grandma. Hey, Diane. I was just sitting here telling the girls about the first kiss I had with their grandfather. (laughs) (laughs) Wait, Diane, what's wrong? You're scaring me the girls around you? <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, put, put, put me on speaker. <laughs> girls? Yes? Okay, okay, okay. Um, first, first, let me say I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was, I was, you know, I'm on my way over with, with Uncle Caleb and Nolan and Cousin Cameron. <laughs> this is on the news, okay? This is on the news, so I got it. I need to tell you before you find out. <laughs> what the hell is going on, Diane? <laughs> Last night, <laughs> Stevie was picked up for not paying the child support. <laughs> what? What? He's I'm dead. Talking to when you get here. Oh God, he's dead. He was murdered. <laughs> 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 Oh, Lord, please, my child. 
this is your fault, mommy. <laughs> and grandma, we have to go. Girl, no, you go away. Girl, go, please. Please don't go. You're so upset. Stay with me. Stay with me, please. <laughs>
my nephew. My son is dead over collection issues. <laughs> collections? What are you talking about? <laughs> That's what child support is. A collections issue. A debt not paid. Well, how the hell would you like it if the mortgage company locked your ass up because you couldn't pay the bill, huh? What about your credit card? Maybe the credit card company should lock your ass up over your late payments. My son, my son is dead. Your daughter's father is dead. <laughs> They'll never see or talk to their father again. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my God. All I can do is say I'm so sorry. <laughs> you know, I did love Stevie. I did. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, let me ask you something, Diane. Let me ask you. When Stevie was home all these years, do you think he should have been locked up? That year when he lost of his job? Of course not. Why? Everything I just said were collection issues. So according to you and your actions, he should have been in no. jail, right? Right? I said right. no, right? Right? No. Uh-huh. All the years, Diane, all the years that he was providing, providing for your family emotionally and financially meant nothing to you. You treated him like you hated him when you separated. You kicked my son, my Stevie, out of my nephew. For my nephew? And guess what? That sucker doesn't even want you. Do you think Lamar wants to marry you? Marry? <laughs> Wait, 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 hold up, hold, hold up. You didn't think anything. I never told you I wanted to marry you. And we didn't have a relationship that was purely sexual. Ha, ha, ha. You were nothing. You were nothing but a bedtime story, baby. That's all. That's it. A bedtime story. And the man who cherished and adored you, and would give his life for you is dead. A CB is dead because of a collection <laughs> issue. <laughs> Diane, dry your eyes. Dry those tears up right now. <laughs> You're going to have to live with the cause and effect of your <laughs> actions. <laughs> Pick up the phone. I'm sick of hearing it ring. I said pick it up. Yes. Hello. Is this Mrs. Reed? Yes. What is it now? This is the Marietta Police Department. Do you have two daughters by the name of Carly and Monica Reed? <laughs> yes, I do. Mrs. Reed, I'm so sorry, but there's been a fatal accident on Route 1. What? Mrs. Reed, your daughters were taken to the hospital, but they were both pronounced dead at the scene. Oh my God! 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 Oh